Hey everybody, welcome to Brown's Family Homestead. In this video, it's bringing our fruit orchard to life. So we have 14 bare root apple trees, two bare root pear trees, 10 blueberry plants, 10 raspberry plants, and a bed of strawberries. So we're gonna be showing you the planting of the apple trees, the drip lines for those, how we protected the apple trees, and then I'm gonna bring you into the garden and I'm gonna show you my container gardens for my blueberries and raspberries. So we have a lot to cover in this video. We will get down to the nitty gritty, things that we did to boost these things and all of that. So let's get into it. Right now, my husband got the mini excavator and he just wanted to break up the ground a little bit. We have hard soil, so he's breaking the ground up. Now he's back filling and then they're going to plant it in that broken up hole. So what are you doing? I'm putting welded I'm putting welded wire around these apple trees and I got the advice from somewhere on YouTube and it said to cut 13 feet of wire. I think that's just a good uh, amount of feet for um, letting them grow up for the next two years or so because I think I think we have to water for two years and then protect them like this for two years and then we can take this stuff down and they should survive on their own. So, so what, five down, 10 more to go? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so on top of these cages, Ange actually put drip line to every single one of the trees. So that has been a huge help. We were watering each tree for three minutes with our hose. So this is a huge help. And they all have buds on them, so that's really good because these were all bare root apple trees, so the likelihood of them dying when you plant them is way higher compared to getting them at a greenhouse. So all of them look like they're alive, so that was a huge relief. So we're a couple weeks later and our trees are doing really well. Now I'm going to bring you in the garden and I'm going to show you what we have going on in there as far as fruit goes. All right, so these containers, I will put these containers in the description if any of you want them. Uh, they're 25 gallon fabric containers off of Amazon. They had great reviews and just container gardening as a whole is just getting really popular. Um, but here is our blueberry bushes. We have five of them that are the blue crop. And then I'll come bring you over on the other five, which are Duke's high bush. So that is our blueberries. Um, they had a little bit of a shock when we first put them in, but now they're doing pretty well. It was just pretty cold, and when it's cold, well, for other reasons, their leaves can turn red if the soil isn't as acidic or if it needs magnesium and stuff like that. So they seem to be perking up now that it's getting a little bit warmer out, but that's our blueberry bushes in a row right here. And then... We got off of Scenic Hill Nursery, I believe is the name. We got these raspberry bushes that are thornless, ever-bearing, it was like Joan Jay raspberries off of Scenic Hill Nursery website. And they have gotten a little bit bigger, but for the most part, they were this big. So they're not the biggest, but they grow so fast and I wanted a thornless variety so when we're picking them with the kids it wasn't a pain and our hands weren't getting 
cut just from picking them. I want it to be enjoyable. Um, immediately in these and in these, we put in the soil acidifier because they do like a more acidic soil. And then um, a couple weeks later for the blueberries, we put in the berry tone. I'm pretty sure it's called berry tone organic berry fertilizer. So hopefully that helps them along. My only concern with the raspberries is we will have to keep these pruned because the moment these start laying on the ground, they root in and then they can just start spreading like crazy. So we were hoping with the containers that it was able to contain them better if we kept them pruned but and just trellis them upward. I don't know, this could be a complete fail. Also, I know they can like bury their roots down below, so I don't know if it would go through this container. I don't know, it's very trial and error. I feel good about the blueberries, but these are just invasive. So, I'm here to bring you along on the container raspberry garden to see if it actually works and it doesn't just go crazy through our whole garden area. This bed, this bed is full of weeds. Everything is full of weeds because tomorrow is our big planting day. Um, I have some of the cold hardy stuff planted over there, but for the most part, everything's getting planted tomorrow. This bed is going to be for asparagus and strawberries. So it's gonna be, um, I've heard strawberries and asparagus do really well together. We're gonna have a whole bed for strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, apples over there. And then we have two pear trees right over here. And then this is an apple tree that we already had. Um, so this is our fruit orchard. I don't know. We will see how it goes for our first year. I'm not expecting a ton our first year. I'm sure it's just going to be, especially from these new trees, I'm not expecting anything for years. But hopefully this explodes throughout the years and we get a good harvest from all of it. If anybody's curious on what we're using on them, it is these two things. I believe I did use some Epsom salt when we first planted the blueberries too. So all of those three, I have some Epsom salt right here, but mostly just these two. Okay, we ordered all of our drip irrigation from Drip Depot and we didn't get any uh, no sponsorship. Yeah, no. So it was just kind of a website that kept popping up. They might be just really good at like Google search engine stuff, but it was one of the top ones. Uh, so Drip Depot, we have a long run for our main trunk line, which is your main trunk line like supplies all the water to all the little drip emitters. So we had to go with, because they have a table with, you can use half inch main, main trunk line if you're... Uh, not going you know over 200 feet or something like that we were over that threshold so we had to go to three quarter so this main tubing is in front of all of our trees and then lagging off of that is a quarter inch uh like a quarter inch line as well coming off of that and then it tees off into a another quarter inch line but that quarter inch line that's in the shape of the ring has drip emitters on it so we chose to go with every nine inches is, is a drip emitter and they're each uh 0.5 gallons an hour so in an hour it does half of a gallon it drips out so we did every nine inches so i believe i have I believe I have five drip emitters in each ring, so it comes in a big roll of like 100 feet and you can just snip it, and then you put the barbed quarter inch fittings into them. So uh, we have it running for two hours. One hour would have been five gallons, but we have quite a bit of compost around here and we knew that it would suck up the water quite a bit. So I think it's for 120 minutes we have on an automatic water. It turns on automatically at like three in the morning once a week. Um, and uh, that does about 10 gallons of water per tree. So we have that actually going twice twice a week because we're on clay. I'm concerned about water not being able to be taken up by the soil because it's so hard here and we haven't had a lot of rain recently so it's rock hard clay around here right now. So we do 10 gallons twice a week on drip emitters. The the drip emitters are spaced nine inches so every nine inches is, is another drip emitter ring come on we don't have drip lines on our pear trees yet so we have two pears we're gonna go do our watering with our five gallon buckets come on 
Shut that door. This one's not doing so well. It isn't? Oh yeah, there's not as many buds. Okay. And that's all for today, folks. We have 14 apple trees, two pear trees, 10 blueberries, 10 raspberries, and a bed of strawberries that's gonna get planted tomorrow. But tomorrow's planting day. So I'm gonna do a huge video on some time lapses, some showing on some videos I was watching on how to plant certain things. So if that's your type of thing, join us because next week will be a planting gardening video. Bye.